With the new release of a Compose Animation 1.7.0 Alpha 07, we have received some interesting news. I'm gonna show you how to properly implement a shared element transition animation with multiple screens in your app, but also point out a few tips and tricks that can help you avoid the strange flickering behavior that you may experience along the way. Stay tuned! First, you need to make sure that you're using at least 1.7.0 Alpha 07 version on those three dependencies. Besides that, I have also added the Coil Image Loading Library. Here, we have two simple screens inside the nav host, Home and Details. Home screen contains a lazy column with multiple unsplash image objects that I have already prepared. Each unsplash image object has an ID, image URL, author, and the location name. Details screen on the other hand is used to display an item that we select from the home screen. Only the photo will have a greater size and the author name will have a bigger font size and the opacity of 100%. Unsplash image view is a custom component used to hold the information of each unsplash image object in the home screen. And from there you can see that the author name has an opacity of 50% which is a 50% less opacity than that same element inside the detail screen. You will see why this is important later in this video. By the way, a details screen accepts an integer value as an argument so that we can retrieve a correct unsplash image object inside the detail screen. To implement a shared element transition animation between two screens, you need to wrap both of them inside a shared transition layout composable function. Because uh, screens that uh, use a uh, shared animation should have an access to that uh, shared transition scope. Which is why we are gonna implement those uh, two screens as an extension function on a shared transition scope. Only composables that are defined within this uh, scope will be able to access uh, certain modifiers used to mark our shared elements. Also, use a shared transition scope on a custom Unsplash image view composable because uh, that will be the place to define those uh, same modifiers. In this case, we want to share an animation for uh, two elements, image and the author text. So let's add a modifier called the shared element on uh, both of them. This will later cause an unexpected behavior, but I'm gonna explain that later. Bear with me for now. So you can see that this modifier accepts one additional parameter called the animated visibility scope. Luckily, we can provide that scope from the nav host itself. So add additional parameters on both of those screens, as well as inside the unsplash image view composable. Great. Go back to the nav host and pass those new parameters. So far so good. Now let's go back to unsplash image view. Here we can pass that parameter to satisfy the shared element modifier. The second parameter is a shared content state. Here we can basically pass a unique string value that will be shared between the same elements inside the two different screens. We can use an ID parameter to distinguish different objects. For the image, we can type image forward slash and then the ID. And for the text, we can just uh, use a text as a string. By the way, you can use uh, any other string combination that you want. This is just an example. Perfect, we have handled uh, everything for the home screen and uh, those uh, two elements that uh, we are going to share. Now let's go back to the detail screen. Here, we also need to add those uh, same modifiers on those uh, same elements that we want to share. So let's pass the same key string values that we have used previously in the home screen. Awesome! Let's launch the application to see how this transition will now look like. In the home screen, the image has a rounded corner shapes. And the author text has a 50% opacity as well as a smaller font size. When we click one of those items from here, a transition animation will start. Which is great, it works! However, you can see those uh, flickering and uh, glitching issues when a rounded corner shape uh, is uh, transforming as well as when the author text is transforming. To fix those issues, we need to make sure to call the shared element modifier as the first modifier in the modifier order. 
So, go back to the project for a moment and uh, specify that uh, modifier to be on the top. After that, we can launch the application once again. This time, the rounded corner shape animation works well, without any issues. However, the text here uh, still doesn't look that good. And here is the reason. When uh, animating the text, we need to use a different modifier called Shared Bounds. You can use a shared element modifier on a text only if the font size, font family and other text attributes are the same on a both screens. Otherwise, if there is a slight difference between those two text elements in the different screens, you need to make sure to call a shared bounds modifier instead. And now launch the app again. Voila! You can see that now the transition animation is uh, pretty smooth and uh, functional for both image and the text. Great. What do you think about that? Are you planning to use this new API in your project? Comment down below and let me know. Other than that, don't forget to leave a like, but only if you find this video helpful. Thank you for watching.